Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's A Game Official, back with another video. For those of you who watched the last video, you just realized that I ran into a bit of a problem. I ran some times and they were slow. I mean, like a second slower than a quarter mile. And what, four tenths of a second slower in my zero to 60. Now, I thought it was something wrong with my tune. So the first thing I did was hit up Jay Green. And we talked for a second and he presented me with a very obvious, um, a very obvious conclusion to my problem, which I didn't think played that big of a part, but y'all see it in the title. Heat, we are going to be covering heat and the way heat affects your performance. Now, heat affects your performance in a couple different ways, but I'm only gonna be talking about from um, heat getting into the engine, not specifically your engine overheating. Um, now, before I get started with this video, man, I encourage y'all to leave me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, comment. You know, I like the comments, love subscriptions, but uh, also share the video with a friend, man. But yeah, heat is a very obvious problem, and I failed to realize that when I ran my times, the first time I ran my zero to 60, it was, I think it was around like low 60s, high 50 degrees outside. When I ran them the other day though, whew, it was every bit of 90. And I did not think it'll have that much of an effect on my times. Like even right now, man, the sun is beaming and I think it's, it's freaking 86 degrees right now. So of course, this would be a bad time to run your times. Now, what I didn't also realize was when I put my intake in here, if y'all can see right down in here, I have a big hole in my intake at the bottom of it. Now, if this was a 6.4, they would have um, the rest of their intake box down here running to the fender wheel, I think, which would provide them with, it'll provide them with that extra air from the outside going through the fender wheel. But since this is not a 6.4, I don't have the bottom part to that box. So now, um, heat from my headers, which my headers are six, 700 degrees on even given Sunday. It's sucking in air from the bottom and my headers are down there. So it's sucking in that heat. I mean, that's only when I'm sitting still. When I'm moving, I mean, like I said, it's 90 degrees outside. My intake temp might be at about 95, 96. It keeps it relatively low still not optimal but um hot air is in a sense less air cold air is more dense than hot air hot air is it gives you less concentrated levels of oxygen which means it's less air going into your engine to simplify it, if you really want to know how that works, I tell you what, preheat your oven on 400, come back in 15 minutes, open it up and stick your head in front of it and tell me if you can breathe. Same thing works for your engine. Your engine has to breathe. The hotter the air, the more it struggles to perform. Now with cold air, it runs sufficiently. There's more air that is more dense, which means it gets higher level of oxygen going through your engine. and since it is a combustible engine, it runs off an air fuel mixture. More air equals more performance. That's the problem I'm running into now. Not necessarily a problem because I can't do anything about the weather, but that is, I'm hoping the reason why I ran such slow times the other day. Uh, the only way to really test that theory is to wait for it to get cooler. Obviously, I'm not gonna wait till fall and winter to redo my times. 
Um, like earlier this morning, it was 77 degrees. I can wait till early in the morning or I can wait till later on at night where temperatures are cooler and they're more optimal for running times. Or my second, second, um, second way to reduce this problem, I wanna take it to a dyno and put the fan in front of it and see how much horsepower I get from the last time that I went since my current mods because I still have yet to dyno six four intake manifold with the six four intake but it's not a hundred percent that the air that we're pushing from the fan into my intake will be cooler air i mean it might just be blowing hotter air depending on the temperature outside but i'm going to find a way to get an accurate reading or accurate performance put out from my vehicle but if you're thinking about going to the track or running times in the summer, it is not going to turn out the way you want it to. It is hot. Hot air is not good for your performance, especially if you're trying to break PRs and run all some times. Just don't do it. But that is what I've been reading up on and coming up with. And another way heat also affects your engine. Let me make sure I choose my words carefully when I say this. Heat makes your oil thinner. Did y'all know that? Yes. It, I don't wanna go into the details of it. It got something to do with the viscosity, but yeah, heat plays a factor in the way your oil, your, it plays a factor in your oil's thickness. Now let's be real, if you have a Hemi, you run your car pretty hard already. Now, the harder you run your car, or your engine, rather, the harder you run that engine, it sort of degrades your engine oil already because you're kind of overloading it, per se. The period of time that an oil is supposed to last before your next oil change depends on how hard you run it. If you're running it hard already, you're degrading that oil, which means you're gonna have to get your oil changed sooner than later, which is what a lot of people run into and the mistake they make is they think they can run it hard and put six months to eight month period times between the time that they get their oil changed. When your oil is already degraded, which is why your lifters fail and they stop that ball or whatever at the top, the roller at the top of your lifters stop rolling because it does not have enough oil or the thickness in that oil to lubricate it in order to roll. So. You run your engine hard, you degrade the oil already. Now you add 100 degree heat to that for three to four months out of a year, and it degrades your oil even more. It makes your oil thinner, which means your engine is in trouble. If you drive a Hemi, you are in trouble with the heat. And the heat is going to always win because your car produces heat. The earth and the sun itself produces heat. Your engine needs proper care. So, heat plays a big factor in performance. And I'm just now finding this out after reading all of this stuff that I've read and it blew my mind. So pay attention to the period of time that you change your oil and how hard you run your car in a hot summer's day. Cause the heat can be your worst nightmare, especially if given the time to take effect. So, if you're gonna run them hard, change your oil out often. <sighs> All right, that's it for this video, man. I wanted to keep it short. I thank y'all for watching, and I hope you learned something, and I hope you got something out of this video that you can use. If you like the video, remember, like the video. If I'm missing anything or any information, or if I got any information wrong, type them down in the comments, man. I am no... I am not afraid of constructive criticism. If I have my information wrong, please let me know. Therefore, I can learn more from you. But I am also here to help learn you something. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching this channel, man. I greatly appreciate it. I'm A-Game and I'm out. See you.